So I made the executive decision that in 2024, we are going to step into our productive princess era. In this video, I share tips on how I stay productive because it does not come naturally to me since I'm a lazy girl at my core. Anyways, I hope you princesses enjoyed today's video and get some inspiration from it. Good morning, you guys. It is currently 5.55. It just turned to 5.56. I am so tired today. It is Monday morning. I just couldn't fall asleep last night because I kind of threw off my sleeping schedule on the weekend. But we got to persevere because we are a productive princess. I'm creating my own aesthetic, not Pilates princess because I don't do Pilates every day. So we're going to be productive princesses today. I'm going to show you how you can be one too. It's not easy to be a productive princess because we're fighting against our lazy girl nature. At my core, I'm a lazy girl. I am a lazy girl i can't reiterate that enough it's really not easier for me to wake up than it is for you it's an even playing field for almost everybody it's hard it's really hard to actually wake up and be productive and get your shit done it's not as easy as it sounds but that's what's gonna set you apart from everybody else i have this everyday affirmations book that i recently got for christmas from joel's parents and it's so cute so i'm gonna start reading these affirmations every day and there's a new one for every single day so i'm gonna read today's don't let perfection stop you perfect is the enemy of completion it's noble to want to achieve your goals perfectly to want to be perfectly good or perfectly capable but it's not possible don't let a desire to pursue total perfection stop you from moving forward our imperfections are what make us human and what build bridges between us they are useful in their own way you cannot shed them entirely so look for ways to embrace them as an asset i love this so much oh my gosh you can screenshot that if you want that was so good and it's funny because i have been saying that recently being a perfectionist often really stops people from doing things because if it's not like 100 percent perfect or if they're not 100 percent perfect they don't want to do it but like this book just said that's what sets you apart from everybody else and makes you different builds bridges between us i'm gonna get up now because i'm gonna get ready for the gym so let's get our productive princess day going and off to a good start recently has been to take better care of my hair because it's been getting really long i just feel like when your hair is long or thick it's just a little bit harder to take care of my hair for some reason i feel like it's damaged so easily so i have been sleeping in this silk nightcap and i got it off amazon i actually got this tip off of a few hair girls on tiktok who show how to take care of your hair properly and so i ordered it and it's like been the best thing ever because every single night i put on oil on my ends and then put this on and it contains the frizz i noticed less hair fallout it also makes my hair less greasy because i always like lather and slug my face before i go to bed and my hair always ends up sticking onto my face and it gets so disgusting at night so separating my hair putting it back from my face and my skincare is night and day for me because my hair is completely out of the way so it doesn't get all of the grease from my skincare because my hair was getting greasy so fast but ever since i started using this it hasn't so this has been like a lifesaver yeah i just wanted to let you guys know because i got a couple questions about this in my last video it's all my hair perfectly and it kind of makes me feel like a princess in it and i just feel like i'm doing the most self-care when i wear this but anyways let's brush our teeth i still have <laughs> my retainer in I've gotten 
into the habit of taking my Ritual Essential for Women multivitamin. Right now, Ritual is having a 40% off New Year's sale. This is a crazy deal. This is the first time I've seen them have this big of a sale. Research shows that only 9% of people who make New Year's resolutions actually completes them. But that's why at this time of year, it's not only important to set goals for yourself and also set resolutions, but it's even more important to form those into actual habits so you can implement them and actually make them realistic for yourself and then they'll actually end up sticking in your life so if this new year you made the goal or you want to start a health journey this is the easiest and most perfect way to start this essential for women multivitamin is clinically backed and formulated with key high quality nutrients it's vegan non-gmo gluten-free it's formulated with things like iron omega-3 vitamin d3 magnesium the list goes on the thing is is no matter how balanced of a diet you eat you can easily be missing out on key nutrients that your body needs to actually feel good and function properly this essential for women multivitamin is actually made to fill those common nutrient gaps in your diet they also offer happiness guarantee and so if you get your order and you don't end up liking it after 30 days they'll refund your money entirely without any questions asked so yeah get 40 percent off your first month with ritual the sale that they're having is only for a limited time so you could scan the qr code and use my code right on the screen here as well and the link will be in the description along with everything else this is usually $33 but it's on sale for $19.80 with my code just a side note the capsules are mint flavored and they smell so good how cute is this little princess house mug i got it as a gift and i'm obsessed it comes in a little set i'm just so obsessed with it and it fits the vibe for today i'm going to start this new little journal today notes to mindfulness and there's a page to do every day with prompts it's kind of similar to the five minute journal but they just encourage you to write a little bit more so i'm really excited to start this one thing that i would suggest to make your routine more desirable week to week month to month is to implement some new things in it that make you a little bit excited and i've been writing in the five minute journal for a long time now so i'm gonna switch it up for a bit and start writing in this one instead and just doing little things switching things up in these ways really do make a big difference in the long term and they just spice things up in your routine without making too big of a difference that's like one of the best productivity tips i have is just to really spice things up for yourself to encourage you to keep going and do more and do your best and it could be just as simple as just switching up your journal prompts I'm a firm believer in when you look your best, you feel your best, you perform your best. And so if that means putting on some gym makeup to be a productive princess, there is nothing wrong with that. I feel like when I wear a cute workout set, when I look good going to the gym, I just feel like I have the best workouts to be honest. When I go to the gym and I just like don't feel confident in the way that I look, I tend to hold back a little bit and I just always don't end up having the best workout, which is okay. But I'd rather put myself together a little bit before the gym and have the best workout that I can. I don't put on makeup every single time I go to the gym, but I always do make sure to put myself together somewhat and make sure that I feel confident in the way that I look. So it really just depends day to day, but don't hesitate to put on a full face of makeup if you even want to go to the gym, because if that's gonna make you work out better and feel more confident going, then just do it. So I'm gonna do a little bit of makeup just to make myself feel a little bit more confident going to the gym today. It's gonna be very, very simple and light. I'm just gonna put some concealer on. I have a couple, couple pimples that just appeared i definitely don't do any makeup when i go to my heated workout classes because obviously you don't want your pores to get clogged when you're sweating but that doesn't mean you can't do it even if you still want to so do whatever you want at the end of the day honestly nothing makes a bigger difference to me than just like combing my eyebrows in place no matter what i do if i do makeup or if i don't do makeup i always make sure to comb my eyebrows because i wake up sometimes and they're like sideways i don't even know what happens to them when i sleep but i'm gonna put a tiny bit of blush on just to create a natural little flush this is just the elf putty blush 
I know a lot of people have troubles actually getting yourself to go to the gym and workout classes because of confidence issues. That's why I think it's just really important to do what makes you confident before you go and work out no matter what you should be doing according to society. So even if that means wearing a sweatsuit to go work out or a big t-shirt and shorts or whatever it is for you, just do it because I swear you think that everybody's focusing on you when you're working out but nobody actually cares. Like everybody is just in their own zone and if they do focus on you then they're weird and and just ignore them. Okay, I'm just gonna go in and curl my eyelashes. I think that just makes me look 10 times more awake as it is. I'm gonna do a little lip liner because I just need to have lip liner on if I put any sort of makeup on. And now we're gonna finish off the look with my Summer Fridays lip balm. This stuff is so good because it's perfect to wear to the gym, running errands, and honestly whenever because it's not a lip gloss. It kind of looks like a lip gloss, but it's a lip balm, so it's just like the perfect medium. That is my little gym makeup look for the day. It makes me feel more like a productive princess. Do whatever makes you feel like a princess, whether that's putting on makeup, doing your hair, putting on a cute workout outfit, not putting on a cute workout outfit. Do what makes you happy regardless of what anybody else thinks in general in life. I swear to you, just putting yourself together though, for me personally, makes you feel a hundred times better it makes a huge difference so let's get our workout set on i just picked out my workout set for the gym i picked out these pink princess um aritzia butter leggings aritzia's butter line for workout clothing is the softest material ever and i will never wear any other material from them again because it's just amazing and they're in a really cute pink color because pink is a theme for today because we're being a productive princess and then i also picked out to go with that this halara long sleeve top and this material is also super 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 soft so i'm gonna be super comfy and i don't know i just feel really cold today so i wanted to be in a long sleeve i didn't really want to wear a sports bra so this is the vibe for today it's my cute little set in the car even though working out is pretty hard getting in the car and actually driving there is even harder mentally because it's so easy to quit motivation is very very important when it comes to productivity but determination is even more important i don't have motivation all the time i only have motivation like 30 percent of the time maybe that's why it makes it really really hard to actually wake up and to actually go do that workout i talked about this more in my video that i made of how i wake up at 5 a.m every day so you can check that out but i'm feeling good right now about the fact that I'm this close to working out and then I essentially accomplished my morning routine so that's why I say it's really important to feel good when you go to work out and when you wake up treat yourself to some pajamas that you're gonna feel really cozy waking up in and cute this goes for all areas of your life just romanticize everything maybe ask a friend to work out with you if that helps you go to the gym or go to a workout class romanticizing things in your life is key and there's so many different ways to do that that's how you just make the little moments in life more pleasurable and more enjoyable because it's all about enjoying the present moment even though it may seem really tough mentally to get out of bed and do your morning routine and sometimes it's important to like just go through the motions to get it done but it's also really important to make sure that you're appreciating and integrating things that really make you happy into your morning routine and you're romanticizing it because essentially you don't want to just like fast forward time until you're done your morning routine some days it's going to be like that and that's okay but for the majority of the time try to appreciate every single present moment and i know it could be hard sometimes but that's why we're romanticizing your life and just things really helps yeah that's also one of my new year's resolutions for this year is just to try to be super present in my day-to-day -day life and make my day-to-day -day tasks and things just more enjoyable that's why i'm renovating and making an office for myself because i just feel like i need to romanticize working more and having that space i feel like is really gonna help me be creative mentally and everything so anyways little things like that really really do help it snowed last night it just makes me so happy even though it sucks because it's after christmas i'm still really grateful for the snow because it's just the coziest feeling ever but anyways i'm gonna get going to the gym and i will see you guys when i'm there everything just 
Making conversation is so boring. What about when I need her? I don't agree. I need a baby. just finished shop at the gym and it is pouring snow. I'm gonna head to the grocery store now and I think I'm gonna make soup for dinner tonight to be a little bit cozy. Doing my errands in the morning first thing, whether it be after the gym or if I go home, get ready, eat breakfast, and then go back out to do errands, I need to get them done at the beginning of the day because it just makes me feel just so accomplished and I can't not do them at the beginning of the day. I just don't understand people who go to the gym in the evening and do everything in the evening. I get it if you have like a job and you need to work around those hours, but for people who just leisurely make their way to the gym at 5 to 9 p.m., I don't get that. Like once it hits 5, my brain shuts off and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna put on on Love Island and just watch TV and make dinner and relax and unwind so props to you if you do that but if you guys want to be productive trust me getting your errands done and also your biggest daunting tasks done at the beginning of the day it makes it so much easier for you because then they're just out of the way and you can enjoy the rest of your day I like to wake up and really put myself in the flow of things so I like to wake up work out right away you know have a healthy breakfast if I need a grocery shop a grocery shop if I need to do errands I'll do that and and it just puts me in such a good flow to start the day and then it kind of continues on and it does die out by the end of the day but starting your day off with like a good flow I feel like is so important and you have to find your own flow maybe it's not the same as my flow but for me personally just getting everything done at the beginning of the day is immaculate and it's just such a good feeling by 5 p.m. I know that I got everything I needed to get done done I don't need to go out of the house I can stay in put a movie on whatever it is but it's just such a good feeling and that just really does make me feel like a productive princess so so let's head to the grocery store. My camera battery is flashing. I just got to the grocery store. I'm just gonna make a quick list now so that I'm not so disoriented in there. I like having a list when I go shopping because I will forget something if I don't have a list. And even when I do have a list, I still forget things. So I have this ongoing grocery list on my notes app that I like to keep and I just uncheck and check things when I need them again. So it's really easy and makes it really convenient. Yeah, before I go in, I'm just gonna check the list and then add some things for dinner that I need to pick up, then we're gonna go inside. my little grocery haul i didn't get too much but i just needed a couple things for dinner and just to restock the fridge a bit so we love zevias in this house i got two packs these are the creamy root beers our favorite and then i got some turmeric tea just because i know turmeric has so many benefits got some raspberries some peppers i really like just snacking on peppers i was gonna buy ranch i completely forgot because that wasn't even on my list but anyways i got chicken broth for tonight's soup kale for tonight's soup and i ended up getting this san pellegrino bubbly water because I want to start making little cute drinks at home. So I also bought this organic lemon juice and it's just 100% squeezed lemons. So I don't need to squeeze a lemon every time. It's the lazy way of doing things. But for making a drink, it's going to make it so much easier. I'm going to be doing some bubbly lemon water often. Then I just got some plain white vinegar. I got some mushrooms, some actual lemons, some avocados, coconut milk, some sausage for tonight's soup, and then some yams. And then I got some Nooch Pop. This stuff is my favorite. It's so good. So highly recommend, but yeah, that's a little haul. I'm gonna put this all away.
right now I want to make a matcha but I ran out of my homemade milk so I'm gonna make some more and I've shown this recipe in one of my videos before but I have to show it again because homemade nut milk is so underrated it's so easy to make it doesn't even take that much time when you get milk from the stores there's most likely additives in it gums probably canola oil or even worse and it's just like three simple steps to make it at home and it's so easy and it tastes so much better than the store-bought milk I just can go on and on and on about how you should make your own nut milk at home and it probably ends up being cheaper as well I've never really calculated but you could do the math and see if you can carve out 15 minutes of your week to do it I would 100% suggest to do it because it's just so worth it and it's just so much more fulfilling making a latte with my homemade milk because I know it's so much more healthy and it's so much more flavorful I will never drink an almond milk or something like a glass of it from the store but I would drink a glass of my homemade milk just out on its own because it's so good but yeah i'm gonna make it right now and show you guys the recipe if you've already seen it you could skip this part but this is for the people who haven't seen it yet because trust me it is amazing so these are the basic ingredients that you need i soaked half a cup of cashews and half a cup of almonds overnight i'm just about to strain them and rinse them i use dates to sweeten my milk you can also use maple syrup or honey but i'm just going to put two dates in and that's like the perfect sweetness for me and then also just a pinch of salt as well about a quarter teaspoon now i'm just adding four cups of water this is just room temperature Now I got my milk. I just blended it until it looked blended <laughs> about maybe like two minutes. I'm not sure, but just blend it until it looks good enough. I'm gonna take this milk bag. This was like $10. I bought it at the grocery store. You can order them on Amazon cheaper. I'll put one link down below, but you can pretty much find these at any grocery store, I think. I just called the milk bag or a nut bag. Now I'm just gonna pour the mixture in the bag and close it up and just squeeze out the milk. And then what will be left in here is the pulp. So you wanna just discard or you can even make cookies out of it or something. Okay, so now we got the milk in here. It's so creamy and good. And I'm just gonna transfer it over to this jar. This was an old milk jar. This is the final product. It lasts in the fridge for, I would say about a week, maybe a week and a half, but I end up drinking this whole thing within the week anyway, so I'm not sure, but putting salt in here is a really good way to preserve it and also enhance the flavor. So you can always taste this and you can even add vanilla, cinnamon, whatever you want to add to it. I just don't have vanilla right now. You can also adjust the salt, obviously, depending on your liking or even the sweetness. I've been drinking this now and making this for, I wanna say about like half a year and it's a game changer. I'm telling you, it's just so much healthier for you. It doesn't have any additives and you're literally just drinking almonds and cashews and that is it. You can even play around with what kind of nuts you like in it. It doesn't have to be my exact ratio, but from experimenting, this has just been my favorite way to make it. So I'm going to make a matcha now. I just put one teaspoon in, a heaping teaspoon. Now I'm gonna put maple syrup. I'm just gonna eyeball the amount, but it's about two teaspoons, I would say. I love using maple syrup to sweeten it because it's a lot healthier than like using real sugar and it's just more natural. It acts kind of like a syrup instead of sugar. So this is my go-to for making my drinks. Usually I would put boiling water in here so that it mixes the best, but I mean, you don't need to put boiling water. It could just be kind of room temperature. I'm just gonna take this whisk. Now, pour this little shot of the matcha and maple syrup in. That's so satisfying. And that is how I make my homemade matcha. It's so good and you can obviously adjust the sweetness to how you like it, but I'm obsessed. Matcha is supposedly really good for your hormones and a lot of things. Apparently, if you drink one matcha a day, it's really, really good for you. So I also feel good drinking this. So I'm going to 
gonna be going to bed very soon but before i go to bed i have my ipad here and i'm going to download some books Books help me stay motivated and really do help me be productive. When you surround yourself with that motivation, it just really inspires you to do more things and to accomplish more. I swear when I'm reading a motivational book, I am never more of a productive princess. So I'm gonna share some book recommendations with you guys for like, I guess the self-help genre of books or motivational books. Um, I have actually never read these two, but one of them is called The 5 a.m. Club and the second one is called Miracle Morning. Apparently those are two very short reads, but they're very inspiring to help you form a really good morning routine and be productive throughout the day. So I'm actually gonna go download these right now on my iPad. Another really good recommendation is Atomic Habits. Habits. You guys have probably already heard about this book because it's gained so much popularity, but it is really 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 good It's so worth the read. You don't even have to read an absurd amount of pages per day of these books You can literally just make a goal of reading 10 pages a day and that's good enough to motivate you They're also very very educational So it's gonna help you kind of grow your productivity mindset if that makes sense So another book that I read is the subtle art of not giving an F and that one's really really good I've never read this one, but I have it to read. It's called the power of your subconscious mind and i've heard of another one called the power of now i'm pretty sure that one's really good too another one called 101 essays that will change the way you think i have never read this one this one is in my to read list so i'm excited to get that one started because apparently that one's really good and then this one's more spiritual but it's called abundance by deepak chopra and i really want to read that one too so i have a lot of books i want to read and i'm going to make a goal of at least reading 15 pages a day i think that is very attainable because I think that's probably about 20 minutes of reading maybe less I'm not sure but depends how big the pages are but what I like doing usually is reading nonfiction in the morning so a motivational book or throughout the day and then at night if I read in bed I read a fiction book just because I feel like it's more so of a story and I really do love reading fiction as well but it just doesn't feel as right to read that as my motivation in the morning because that's not motivating but i like to have a balance between the two genres kind of a book so yeah that is one of my biggest productivity tips i'm definitely going to get in my reading era this year and my ipad is perfect to do that with because it's literally probably the size of a kindle if you have an ipad you can download books on the book app or you can get the kindle subscription this is an ipad mini so that's why it's kind of the perfect size yeah, you can all also get a kindle or one of those amazon books or you can just even download them on your phone or get the physical copy so there's so many ways that you can make books attainable to you i will make sure to link all these books that i'm talking about down below so you guys can check them out but yeah i'm gonna go download some books and do some reading now before bed mm -hmm. 